Tuesday for our Toastmasters Club. And one thing that really made me sad was that a number of people just passed by our Toastmasters booth without even stopping to listen and hear about the benefits of Toastmasters. I looked around at the other booths of the competing clubs who were also soliciting for members. And it was there that I recognized the problem. On our left was the booth of the X-Men, and on our right was the booth of Tony Stark Enterprises with their Iron Man flying suits. No wonder nobody wanted to join Toastmasters. All of the other clubs were offering superpowers. That is why the Toastmasters organization has me here today to speak with you and tell you about some of the more commonly overlooked superpower benefits to Toastmasters. Superpower number one, the ultimate hypnotic power of persuasion. I'm sure that you're all aware that Toastmasters are the only people in the universe who avoid the use of filler words in their speech. Uh, words such as ah uh, or um. What you may not know is that this absence of filler words bestows upon the speaker an awesome power. Science has proven that Toastmasters can convince anyone to do anything at all. I guarantee, and I know this from personal experience, I guarantee that if you become a Toastmaster, you will always be able to talk yourself out of speeding tickets. You can find the that course you always wanted. Your children will always listen to everything you say. You'll even be able to take little seeds, put them in the palm of your hand, and then talk that seed into sprouting, and then growing into a tree right before your eyes. That plant right there, it was a seed before I walked in here today. <laughs> Superpower number two, the ultimate power of intimidation. I know this from personal experience. I was walking home from the store last week carrying my newly purchased prize, my jug of milk. I entered a dark alley and suddenly a dozen ninjas jumped down from the rooftops and surrounded me. They established their ninja stance and demanded that I hand over my jug of milk. I didn't do it. I told those ninjas that I was a Toastmaster. <laughs> Upon hearing the word Toastmaster, those ninjas screamed, turned, and ran away. One of them even peed his pants. It was so scary. <laughs> Science has been studying the Toastmaster intimidation factor for years, and they're not absolutely certain but they believe that the most likely reason for the intimidation is due to the triple occurrence of the S sound in the word Toastmasters. <laughs> this triple S sound reminds the non-Toastmaster of dangerous animals whose names begin with the letter S. Animals such as snakes, skunks, snails, and spiders. Whatever the reason, I can absolutely guarantee that if you join Toastmasters, nothing will ever hurt you ever again. <laughs> there are a number more benefits, superpower benefits to Toastmasters. I certainly don't have time to list them all. However, you can expect to hear major announcements in the next several weeks about how Toastmasters has ended the drought in Southern California. <laughs> about how Toastmasters has solved world hunger, uh, and even how Toastmasters can save kittens that are stuck in trees. <laughs> I know that you all have many superpower clubs to choose from. However, only Toastmasters gives you the opportunity to join a superpower club with an unlimited future potential. If you join now, in the future, you will be telling your friends that you were with Toastmasters from the beginning, before the whole world knew about the major superpower potential of Toastmasters. 
I expect to see you all soon signing your names on that sign up list. Yeah, thank you.